So we're here with the one and only John Fowler of Film and Digital Times here at the Band Pro Open House 2015. John, thanks so much for sitting down with us to talk about everything that you're up to and uh, how the year's been in 2016. Thanks for having me. Of course. So how was 2015? What, uh, what's going on in your world? Well, 2015 has uh, been a whirlwind of a year. We're seeing more equipment, uh, more new techniques, a lot of new uh, things coming along. It seems like it's snowballing. So what's been exciting as far as you know products uh, coming out this year, cameras, lenses, etc.? Well, maybe before we start talking about this year, let's look back uh, 10 years, because this has been the 10th anniversary of Film and Digital Times. Uh, when we first started, I was still shooting on film. The big camera was, well, not the big, it was a small camera. The new camera was the ARRI 235, which is a very small, ergonomic 35 millimeter handheld camera. Um, and for the entire year 2005, the sort of the pace of development of new equipment was, I guess the only word would be glacial. It was pretty slow. You know, you'd buy a camera and you would expect it to last most of your career. And then every year since then, it's been amazing how the uh, progression of equipment has just almost snowballed. The progression has gained speed. There have been more products in a year than ever before. So this year, um, it's unprecedented how many new things we've seen. What's, what's new this year? Uh, we're seeing a lot more 4K. I just got back from Japan. They're already talking about 8K. Uh, not only displays, but cameras. Um, I sense that there's a lot more interest in a full-frame format, the 24 by 36 still format. Red was the first one really to introduce it in a Cine, Cine form factor, the Weapon 8K, although that uh, also exists with the Sony A7 S and R, exists in the Canon 5D, the Leica SL, and so on. So it's a very familiar format that's been around for a hundred years, uh, but now suddenly we're seeing a lot of interest in it for major cinema productions. First of all, congratulations on your 10 years. Oh, thank you. Still, we're still in the same precarious business. So it seems like you are traveling everywhere. How do you manage all your time? How, how do you decide what to go to and what not? Uh... The answer to that is a little tongue in cheek, but when I worked with Guy Hamilton, who had directed um, some of the James Bond movies, I asked him that same question. I said, Mr. Mr. Hamilton, uh, how did you decide where you shoot the James Bond films? And he said, young man, we would ask, where haven't we been lately? So it's, uh, it's sort of like that. No, but seriously, uh, it's, they're the major trade shows of the year. There's, um, you know, beginning with the beginning of the year, the BSE show, Micro Salon in France, uh, NAB, Cinegear, IBC, Cinec, Photokina, Innerby. So those are the major trade shows. And then there's the film festivals in between, Sundance, Camry Maj, uh, New York Film Festival, plus the various factories. So it, it's almost like uh, playing pinball or Google. It's kind of random. Yeah. And you used to shoot. I mean, can you tell you know going back a little bit, being more of a cinematographer, just to let people get to know your background um, in the earlier years. Sure. Um, I went to Dartmouth and skied and did a lot of ski films, medical films. Uh, my first job out of college was for company called Vision Associates doing high-end corporate films. I was the, I started out as a, as a camera assistant there for their staff cameraman and within I'd say a month I was uh, shooting most of the stuff. I was a staff cameraman on, on that and I shot a lot for ABC Sports and documentaries for National Geographic and CBS. Uh, and then um, one day Andy Laszlo called me and said he had a feature that involved skiing. Could I ski backwards with a Panaflex, which I could. So that's how I got into features. Did that for about... Which I'd feature say, was that? That was called Top of the Hill. Okay. And with Wayne Rogers, Elkie Summer, Sonny Bono. And then I think after this first or second day, they rewrote the script and it was not so much skiing, it was bobsledding. But that was fine. It, it, it was good. So there I was. Handheld with a Panaflex down, uh, shooting backwards in a bobsled at 90 miles an hour. My mentors have been um, in college was Maurice Rapp, who was a screenwriter and producer, 
uh, Mel London in the corporate world, doing corporate films, Andy Laszlo as a cinematographer who nurtured me throughout my career, and Volker Bonneman of ARRI, who, uh, when I first started, when I bought my first camera, he said, John, what's your business plan? I didn't even know what a business plan was. And I said, what do you mean business plan? He said, well, how do you expect to make money? And I scratched my head and I, and so throughout my career, he's been really helpful. What's coming up next year? Obviously, uh, you guys are a very successful magazine, one of the most respected publications in the industry. The go-to reads, you know, without a doubt, next to American Cinematographer. Um, I followed it. The page count has grown. The folio has count uh, grown. Um, and uh, well, you know, what's what's 2016? Uh, you, you know, can you share a little bit about your strategy and how to cover this industry, which yes, is pumping out so much product uh, and workflows changing. I just you know wanted to get your thoughts. So I think the thing that we might mainly try to do is. Um, follow the industry from the point of view of a user. Um, I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm definitely a gearhead, but I also was an art history major, so I'm very into the art um, and also the writing. So I think it, the way to follow it is, uh, film always begins with an idea or a concept, and then you try to find a style of what it should look like to get it onto screen, and then you think about well, what's the equipment that we can use to do this. And I think that's really where we come in to try to bring to our audience what some of these tools are and how to use them artistically. Right. Okay, so easiest is F fdtimes.com. F for film, D is in digital, times like New York Times, dot com. And we have, uh, you can download the latest issue. Uh, we post news and products there. You can reach me through the contact page and that's hooked up uh, to Facebook and Twitter and all the other social media. So look forward to hearing from your readers and viewers.